This will blow your mind. Everybody, Rick's here, and thanks for watching my channel. In this video, I can't believe I'm actually going to be making it, but I finally found a way to make image transfers onto t-shirts even easier than I have done before. Now, if you watch this video right here, that is when I used a can of 3M77 multi-purpose adhesive to spray it on the image and then just glue it onto the shirt wet and peel off and that was great except that the permeability is after two three washes you know it's going to get kind of deteriorating a little a little a little bit every single time and it, you know it's just not the best way to do it I came across this one channel for example that was featuring using an inkjet printer on DTF sheets and then she would use this transfer powder to transfer from the DTF sheet onto the fabric and I thought what if in this video I'm going to be using this DTF transfer powder stuff but I'm going to be using it with the Ricks can do it quick transfer paper and a laser printer because that's what the paper is designed for and I'm going to show you how you can make t-shirt transfers out of your quick transfer paper. It has the same longevity. It, it, it goes through multiple washes with no problem. It's fantastic. And I'm so excited to bring this to you guys in this video. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is load up my nifty HP color printer with my Ricks Can Do It quick transfer paper. I went online to Crayon AI and uh, I just selected the image that was already there. Now the software that I'm using is Affinity Photo and uh, I'm creating an eight and a half by 11 project here. And I'm gonna take that image that I took and downloaded from uh, Crayon AI and I'm going to place it onto this eight and a half by 11. I'm gonna size it up and uh, I'm gonna mirror it because uh, when you're transferring, everything ends up mirrored. And I'm gonna send it over to my laser printer. Here are some of the items you're gonna need. Your image printed on the quick transfer paper, a can of Easy Tack from Krylon, and a Ghidorah transfer powder. This is that DTF, DTG printing dust that we're going to use. And you'll also need a couple of boxes. One that you're going to use to spray the Easy Tack with, and the other one you're going to use for the dust. You certainly don't want to get those two together. Now you want to cut out the excess white paper. You can use scissors or an exacto knife like I am. But in order to make aligning the image onto the t-shirt easier what I'm going to do is find the center of the width of this paper and I'm going to place a mark in the middle top and bottom once I found the center I'm just going to draw a light little line right down the middle of it and I want that line there before I even start to cut out the image because it'll be a whole lot easier to do it this way than after you cut it out now I'm going to go ahead and use my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut out the excess. And again, you can use scissors if you want. And yes, I really am cutting this fast. Are you impressed? Now place the image face up in what's going to be your spray box. And we're going to spray it thoroughly
and sprinkle it all over the image that's in the box. And now just slosh it around so that you get full coverage. The nice thing about the box is it keeps all the powder inside. So it allows you to just work with this as long as you can. Now you're going to notice there's a couple of bubbly parts on the image itself. And that's when the can of easy tack spit all over the image. And I don't want to have that on there. So I'm going to kind of take it off with my fingers. And then I'm going to try to add some more dust or powder, I should say, over those areas. No biggie. Now, once you're done, you're satisfied that it's completely covered, you can go ahead and save the rest of that powder for another time. You use very little of it for each transfer, which makes this really economical to use. Okay, now put the image face down onto your t-shirt. Normally you'd really want to center this the best you can. And that's the purpose of the line I drew on the back. It helps me to line it up and Okay, so you now know how to transfer laser images onto t-shirts so fast and easy. The texture feels really nice. And the fantastic thing about it is I have already run it through the wash a couple of times and dried it a couple of times, and it still looks great. As a matter of fact, uh, now I'm gonna show it to you without the the water, the wetness that was around that image because it, you know, you might think, well, that don't look too good because it's got the dark around it. But no, as you see right here, the shirt's a little wrinkled. I had it bundled up here, but as you can see, okay, that dark area is gone because the shirt is now dry. And it's got this really great texture to it and it stretches, doesn't crack or anything. I mean, this is, 
This is just as good as buying dedicated paper that's only meant for transferring images onto uh, t-shirts. You know, you have to buy paper for t-shirts, you gotta buy paper to transfer to wood, you gotta buy transfer, you know, you gotta buy this one for dark image, light image, whatever. Well, the thing I'm gonna tell you is that this paper, my, my transfer paper, quick transfer paper, you can do it on dark image, dark shirts, you can do it on light shirts, you can do it with laser, and guess what? You can do it with inkjet. See this shirt I'm wearing here? That's inkjet, off my inkjet printer. Same process except for there's a couple of added steps. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. But here I'm gonna show you something else real quick here. Let me find this shirt, oh here we go. I, I, I do all kinds of these experiments. Look at that Mustang there, I had an AI draw that for me there. It came out really beautiful. This was done inkjet. That's an inkjet printer that did this one, okay? And this is, this is inkjet before I figured out the process. This was an experiment and you can see it didn't come out quite that good. And this was the final result once I figured it out. And yes, these have all been through the wash already. Absolutely, look, no crack, nothing. It's fantastic. Check this out. I'm real excited about this. I hope you guys are too. Okay, see this, the rest of these are experiments. These are all before I figured it out. I, I just kept doing different stuff until I finally found the correct formula. Look at this, look at those tennis shoes. This thing feels great, okay? Inkjet, yeah, seriously. Now, I'm gonna say that I still recommend laser, probably always will. Okay, and that's what this one was done. The one you just saw in the video was laser. What I really like about laser is there's less steps. There's, there's no extra preparation that you need to do. Whereas in inkjet, there's a couple of extra things we need to do to make the paper accept ink rather than laser toner. The other thing too is when you take the paper off, you saw how easy it was for that paper to come off. With the inkjet one, it takes a little more work. It wants to stick a little more, but it does come off within an extra 30 seconds of effort, which you'll see in another video. But anyway, laser, inkjet, you'll learn later. Okay guys, well, that's it for this video. I hope your mind was blown because my mind was blown when I finally figured out the formula for how to do this. And it all came to me when I discovered that this stuff was available. And you can get it from different manufacturers. Uh, I just happened to pick this one up from Amazon. And it's, I don't know, 16, 20 bucks. It's not that much, you get so much of it. You're gonna do like hundreds of transfers with this thing. Uh, it is just absolutely fantastic. And once I saw that, I go, I got an idea. Forget that 3M stuff, that 77 adhesive spray. This is a better glue. It's actually meant for a fabric. It's meant for transfers. And now, one paper to do it all. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.